Thanks, Michelle. Northport's Taylor DeMondbrin is now verified as the Guinness World Record holder for both the youngest and the fastest person to visit every sovereign country in the world. It took her one year and 189 days. So why and how did she pull it off? At 24, she set out on a journey around the world. Taylor DeMondbrin estimates 95% of her trip, she traveled alone. Do you speak other languages or was there? Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> so it's great. You, are you ever like pantomiming? Like, Yeah, lots of Google Translate. The longest locale of her trip, 10 days in New Zealand. The shortest, 35 minutes in Monaco. I couldn't stop moving for more than two weeks, um, which was fun. She'd been to Monaco before she set out to smash the Guinness World Record for both fastest and youngest traveler to journey to every sovereign country in the world, but to accomplish her goal, she had to go everywhere, no matter if she'd been there in the past, and collect evidence at each stop. Witnesses, uh, pictures, videos, receipts. But let's start at the beginning. For DeMondbrin, she really caught the travel bug after studying abroad as a junior in college. And then I came back to the States. I had an internship that summer in New York at an investment bank, which I worked you know, incredibly hard to get. It was on Wall Street, all of that fun stuff. And it was like, this isn't what I love doing. Like, I loved what I was doing before I got here, you know, seeing all those cool places and just the juxtaposition of one right after the other. I realized, hey, I want to do something I love when I graduate. And for me, I realized that was travel and it just sort of snowballed completely <laughs> from there. Her planning began, and DeMondbrin is a planner. I didn't know there were limits on your Google Drive spreadsheets, but I hit that limit three times, so that's a thing. Her entire senior year at Vanderbilt, she planned her trip around the world and set her sights on Guinness. She saved, budgeted, emailed hotels, and took out a few small loans. And if you were thinking, she comes from a family that bankrolled her little vacation. No, not really at all. My parents didn't pay for any of it. Um, I mean, they were super supportive but you know they just couldn't help out in that way. She stalked flights. So you know you can get across to Europe for 100 or 200 dollars if you if you play your cards right. Hold you know, on. yeah. How do you yeah. play these? Yeah. I need to do a whole segment with you. It's yep. just like <laughs> how to travel. Yeah. yeah. Like what? Yeah. And she went with the trip costing her about 70 grand. You know a lot of my friends are in grad school right now and that's much cheaper than even going to grad school. So I'm like really happy with where the cost ended up. Because DeMondbrin feels like she got her education. The places I was the most like paranoid, worried, stressed about going to ended up being some of the best experiences that I had. But if you think she's satisfied, seen it all, ready to stop moving, you'd be wrong. So I got a good overview of the whole world and you know I have my whole life to go back to anywhere. Okay, so you know how she said uh, you could get to Europe a hundred, two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, no. Tell me, <laughs> tell me your secrets. Right. What? Specific. What? <laughs> tell me your travel tips. I had a little John moment. Well, I'm gonna tell you everything that she told me tomorrow morning here on the CBS That'd 42 awesome. Morning News. So you don't want to miss that. Figure out how to travel like the Guinness World Record holder did. She wow. told me her favorite country to visit. What? Singapore. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, very, very clean, very modern, but mm -hmm. also a lot of history and uh, lots to see in Singapore. And the best food. Very, very cool. yeah. Best food. What? Italy. That's right. Ah. Best food in Italy. Duh. All right. Well, <laughs>